Hey there viewers, it's finally time for the long-awaited LP of Disney's Epic Mickey. The game I've been talking about for roughly five months now on my channel. A long time ago, on a very peculiar day, my midder lured someone out of his bed. and opened a doorway huh? to my workshop. <laughs> I do not know if the mirror was being mischievous <laughs> or malicious. <laughs> Perhaps it knew that the curious intruder had a role to play in my project. I was putting the finishing touches on my latest creation. A world for things that have been forgotten. Satisfied with my progress, I put the magic brush down and retired to my chambers. and rushed to see what had happened. But I was too late. The world I had created was ravaged. A wasteland. The mysterious intruder was gone. I did not learn his identity. Well, not for a very long time. And that is my crappy impersonation of Mickey Mouse. Hopefully you will not be hearing that a lot in this LP. But with that, let's get started.
After roughly eight minutes of introductions, finally time to start this game. Over here, you bucket of bolts. List me. Now, interesting, interestingly enough, that opening sequence was actually one of the only, if not the only, time in the entire game you actually get to hear voice acting. And I'll explain why that really sucks in a little bit. Now, as per always, this will be a blind playthrough, except for roughly the first 30 minutes, because I have already played through that. First, back in December, when I first got the game, and then again a couple weeks ago, when I initially tried to record this LP, which kind of ended up failing, thanks to audio problems. Yes, and as you can see, we don't really... Even though we have the paintbrush with us, we can't really do anything with it. We can't smash, we can't do anything. All we can really do is just jump around. We're safe in this spot, Mickey! This control panel can be damaged with your spin move. Use your spin move by shaking the Wii Remote. Yay for Waggle. Yeah, we gotta do it a couple times, actually. When that control panel is broken, come and take care of this one. Now, like I said, the first 30 minutes will not be blind. I'd say up until the boat ride area. Quickly press the A button for a small jump. Press and hold A for a further jump. For a longer jump, that's actually what he said. And double tap for a double jump, obviously. Break this control panel and that mechanical arm will be shut down. And that's all it takes. Now, interestingly enough, when I actually first played through this game back in December, I spent a good 15 plus minutes in this one area. Look, the mechanical arms destruction revealed a secret room. You may take a moment to explore it if you like. Yeah, well, I ended up doing more than that. When you're ready, come to me and we'll get out of here. Now, like I said, I did do quite a bit of exploring when I was first in here, just to see what all you can do. And obviously, you can see the little outlines of stuff right here, so you would think that if you had the paintbrush and thinner, you'd be able to do more. Well, like I said, you do not have the paintbrush and thinner just yet, so you can't do jack. So I was spending quite a bit of time trying to see what all I could do, which in turn turned out to be absolutely nothing. So I wasted a buttload of time. 
In fact, there's even a chest somewhere around here that's hidden. Actually, no, we're going to avoid him for now. There's actually a chest hidden behind a walkway that you cannot reach no matter what you do. And I'll show that off in a second as well. So I'm assuming that you can come back here later in the game because one of the big things about this is that once you go through a door, once you pass through a section, you can't come back. There is no backtracking in this game. Which pretty much requires you to one to play this game twice or maybe even three times in order to 100% it. Once in order to go through the good path, another time to go through the bad path, and then a third time to see if you've missed anything. Because as you can see right there, there is a chest right there. You can't do anything. You can't thinner. Nothing. I actually spent a good while seeing if I could open this trap door or anything. No such luck. You can get plenty of coupons, though. But that's about it. Nothing else. Let's see, there's a few other things around here that you can do. Smashing-wise, and that's about it. Yeah, plenty of money. Or tickets. Let's see, I think the secret thing we just opened was down here. give you one guess on who that is. The extra content unlocked, the Mad Doctor's Lab. And there we go. Whoops. Our very first pin. Bronze pin. Well done, this is a collectible pin, one of the many that you will find in the Wasteland. Most of them are unique and commemorate, sp and commemorate specific events or places. You should see how many you can collect while you're here. Well, that's about the only one I know of in this one section for now. There might be another one, I just do not know about it. Well, I'm pretty sure there is one underneath the trap door, but there is no way to get over there. Be careful of the thinner pole, remember that it can hurt you, so don't fall in. Now, as you can hear, I'm not really doing special voices for each of these characters, mainly because... Uh, well, back in December when I first got this game, my initial plan was to do voice acting for each of the characters, and then I realized two major things. One, this is a very long game, roughly 15 plus hours. It was fine for doing it for Costume Quest, because that was a five hour game and there wasn't that much dialogue. And then number two, each of these characters already have a recognizable voice, so I wouldn't be creating my own voices for them, I'd be trying to recreate something that you already know. Mickey has a recognizable voice, Donald has a recognizable voice, everyone does, so... I couldn't really create voices for them like I did with the Custom Quest kids. And plus, can you actually imagine me trying to talk like Donald Duck during his sequences? You can't even make out what that is. I'm not even sure if that come ac comes across well on YouTube. Aww. I have to get back home! I got pulled into this place by that ink monster! I contradict myself so much, I just said I wasn't gonna do voices. That shadow blot! It's a thing made of paint and thinner. That a blood seemed awful scared of this brush. Wow! That thinner dissolves anything painted. Gosh, I wonder what else this brush can do. That's paint. It restores things dissolved by thinner. You're quite the artist. <laughs> yeah, throwing paint around, that sure is art. Well, you're just full of surprises. I guess you soaked up some of the blot. But I'm still me. Let's practice. Oh, boy. Let's practice! Press and hold the Z button to use thinner, press and hold the B button to use paint. At the end of this corridor is the courtyard that will take us out of the dark beauty castle. Don't worry, I'll always be around when you need help, even though you may not always see me. And there's that. Yeah, in this game you do have to aim accordingly. Now, like I said before in the last section, once you go through a door, you're stuck, there is no backtracking, so now that I do have the paint, I would technically be able to get past that trapdoor, but 
the door's locked, so we have to keep moving forward. That's just how the game goes. Yeah, I've got plenty of paint, so I don't really need to pick all this stuff up. But I'm going to anyways. Point on that thin gear and then press the B button to paint it. Ta-da! And for those thinking that maybe you can break down one of these walls and get back into the previous room, no such luck. I've tried that too. Unless you can come back there later in the game, you really cannot go back to that room we were just at. Your brush can also thin out cartoon objects like the door frame. Paint and point at the frame with the Wii remote and hold down the Z button to hit it with a thinner. Ta-da! And you know, I really don't see the point of even doing this to these walls. I mean, I think you get a little bit of paint, but that's about it. And it's hard to even see thanks to the damn camera. Did I get it? No, there's still one more section up there. Yeah, whenever you paint an entire wall, I think you just get a little bit of extra paint. Damn. There is a button, I think. There we go. Okay, I guess I was wrong. You don't get paint by doing that. You do, however, get stuff by painting up barrels and then smashing them. Hmm. Could have sworn you could you got something by painting that wall though. It looks like you can use thinner on the tune floor to clear the way. Don't forget that a thin tune can be restored with paint. 